what's going on everybody crazy crazy night last night huh so oh my god guys uh <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard by now. Uh, um, the draft's coming back. We uh, bombed Iran. We killed a uh, top general. Uh, people are scrambling. Uh, everybody's worried, concerned. And they are now calling in the um, IT technicians, the IT consultants, the, the big boys that, that know how to defend yourself from Middle Eastern cyber attacks because that's about to become a real thing. You can't just drop a bomb on Iran and kill their general and not expect them to try to take over amazon.com and pepper source and you know all there there's a lot of good targets out there. I'm 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 just going to put it that way. I should probably share some secrets with y'all about what you can do about your computers. There's no reason why they wouldn't come after rich Americans like you and me that can afford YouTube uh, premium, you know, no ads and Hulu and, and Netflix and, and all the other things that they just kind of piss off the entire rest of the world because we have them. Don't worry, I've already done all the, the, the corporate high tech stuff to, to protect pepper source so you know this video is solely about you guys and what you can do so step one you know just to to really drive home the point um this is my asus laptop um i've got another one of these at home it's not an asus but it doesn't really matter the um the manufacturer uh this trick is going to work for dells it'll work for an hp um an Acer, uh, pretty much any notebook. Uh, if, if, if you do happen to have a, uh, a Chromebook or uh, an, uh, a MacBook or one of those weird uh, laptops running um, like a Linux-based OS, um, you know, don't even worry about step one, just go to step two. Um, you're probably not running anything that needs protected anyways. That's pretty well defended. All right, so the uh, the first thing you gotta do is uh, log into the uh, computer. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go start. Um, and I think if you just type in firewall, it, it'll uh, bring up Windows Defender, firewall control panel, firewall network protection system settings. Basically, what you're checking here is to make sure that the Windows firewall is on. Um, and, and it's going to have different on-offs for um, the different type of networks that you have. There's domain network, private, public. Um, so we're going to turn it on for everything. And it's already on for me, um, which is really odd because that's like step one of me setting up a new computer is I turn all this off. If you click on one of the, the networks, like this one is Domain Network, um, it, it's real easy. There's a switch here. It's either on or off. And if you set off, it, it'll make you confirm it. And then you'll get this annoying little thing down here that says, you know, hey, dude, you should probably turn that back on. For, for an escalated situation like this where we're facing uh, imminent response from a... Um, a country where we just killed a, a uh, general, you, I'm gonna recommend that you turn the firewall on. I know it's a little annoying, some of the, the apps that you're gonna try and run, uh, some of the stuff that would auto download from a, a website that you may be visiting, you're, you're probably gonna have to go in and allow those programs access through the firewall, but it's a small price to pay for, um, not letting your computer become a terrorist weapon. Which brings us to step two. I promise you it's gonna work for pretty much any laptop that you've got. Um, first thing you wanna do is you wanna go to that start menu, right click on it, 
uh, shut down or shine out. And, and, and of course, you know, mine says update and shut down pretty much any time I want to do anything on my laptop. There's going to be some kind of Windows updates involved. Once you get to this point, it's clear that the laptop is shut down. Go ahead and unplug your power if you've got any power. Uh, flip it over. Alright, so... Um, yeah, I could give you some more advice while I'm doing this. But I think it's... When you're doing something this tough, it's probably best to just kind of focus on what you're doing. That way you don't make a mistake. Alright, well, all the screws are out. So now... I think it's just uh, figuring out how to get this thing to uh, actually open. Well, it's a little bit tougher than I had expected. Ah, this thing is for uh, opening letters. Oh, they thought they were tricky. I now notice that, you know, these things right here probably come off. And those are probably the ones that I needed to, to take off in the first place. No. And, and again, don't worry if you, if you break some stuff on here. Find spare parts for these things all over uh, eBay. You can definitely see there's a screw in there. A different sized screw. Yeah. So you don't even really need those ones on the bottom. Because I mean, once you've got this far, you're, you're pretty much home free. I don't even have to take them all the way out. Let me show you what you're what you're looking at now. Um, this right here, um, you can tell that's the um, the hard drive. Because um, I mean it's you know hard drive sized. Um, that this has got to be RAM because you can kind of kind of see the the RAM poking out the the edges of whatever this. Um, is that's covering it. It's probably like some kind of heat thing. Um, just over here, uh, that's your, your Wi-Fi. Uh, if you zoomed in, uh, it says Intel dual band wireless on it. Um, technically, I don't even use that thing because it's kind of junk. Um, this little USB dongle right here. Um, it was like, 10 bucks on Amazon. It seemed to work better. That's my actual Wi-Fi. Um, this thing over here has got to be a video card. None of those are important for terrorists, nuclear armed country retaliation. Uh, what we're looking for is going to be the battery. And uh, based on this plus and minus that's right here, I'm thinking... This is probably where the good stuff is. So, again, you know, a couple more screws, no big deal. Nothing we haven't done before. Ah, right, there we go. See, sometimes you just gotta use a little bit of little bit of muscle on these things but yeah this is what we were after I'm assuming this is the battery and um, this is the most important part in our cyber defense technique here um, because essentially if there's no battery in it and we have the power unplugged ain't nobody hacking this now, I mean, if you're super paranoid, you can go ahead and once you're done with your computer for the day, you know, you 
you've done your financial transactions, um, you submitted your analysis on um, DNA gene splicing, um, you know, whatever it is that you normally work on on your laptop, um, once you're done with that and you power down, um, not only can you take this battery out, but you could probably take this hard drive out just in case. Um, you know, a good place for that would be um, a microwave. No, uh, no terrorists are going to look in your microwave or your oven. Uh, you know, you can just hide it between, uh, like, two cookie sheets. Uh, if you're going to put it in the microwave, I recommend um, those Dixie uh, paper plates. Basically what I'm getting at is defense through camouflage. You stick your, your battery and your hard drive between two paper plates and throw that in, heck, the refrigerator. It's probably got more room. Anybody sneaking into your house looking for your secrets is going to think, oh, that's just leftover. Or, you know, he was sick, so um, they brought him home um, a plate. But but I'm not going to go that far. I think that's too much work. Is that once you got the battery out, you're really in control. See, there, there's no remotely turning this thing on. Ain't nothing gonna happen. However, you still have the luxury of hooking up the power. Boom, look at that. Yeah, it's still gonna turn on without the battery. Make sure you take the battery out and unplug the power and the terrorists cannot get you. And when you need to work on your top secret stuff, just plug your power adapter in and hit the power button. Uh oh, no internet. That's not good. Oh yeah, that's all right. We can plug the internet. So if, if you did that, um, be sure to, to plug that back in. I think it was over here. And you know, once, once you plug it in, it takes it like 20 seconds, if that. Um, and boom, you know, you're back on the net. You're, you're ready to, to, you know, do whatever it is that you do on your laptop. Um, one, one final pro tip about laptops. Um, you know, obviously we, we took the cover off. Um, yeah, the cover's over here, we got, you know, screws and stuff down there and as you can see I mean it it's it's running um, so you know putting the cover back on entirely optional um, you can wait until the uh, alert level goes back to green or yellow Th this is more of a orange level alert um, security measure um, it's great for flying though I mean TSA you show up with, with one of these, and they know you're serious. They're like, this dude ain't even got to take off his shoes to get on this plane. He's taking off his laptop cover. Like, he ain't got no secrets to hide. And that, and I have an intern. So, you know, the intern can figure out how to put this back together. Now, this one is super easy. Just search on Amazon for a... Uh, Ugreen USB sharing switch. They look like this. Uh, four USB ports in the back. Some sort of output thing there. The, the name of the, uh, the game here is hiding. You want to make things a little bit more difficult for your average uh, Middle Eastern terrorist. So, what we are gonna do is we're gonna take this Wi Fi switch out of here and we're gonna stick it in the back of one of these inputs. And, uh, you know, 
you, you can plug these other two inputs, input one and two, and uh, you know, anything, um, a printer, um, um, an external hard drive, you know, whatever you want. It, it doesn't really matter. You don't even have to plug them into anything. The, the key here is to just make it look more complicated than it is. So I'm just gonna hide them behind this monitor. Take another USB cable to the uh, the output on the front. Plug that puppy in, and where we unplugged the uh, the Wi-Fi adapter is where you're gonna plug the output from the sharing device in. Doesn't look like there's any power or anything. So, um, th this might be broke. I found it in the IT closet. But, but essentially what we're trying to do here, um, if you have a working one, uh, is there's probably gonna be some lights here that'll say one, two, three, four, corresponds to one, two, three, four. Um, you know, one and two, we didn't plug into anything. Three has our, our Wi-Fi. So, you do all your work, you power down, you remove the battery, remove the power cable. You hit select on this puppy. Stick it on one or two. Heck, you could stick it on four that nothing's plugged into. The point is, that means the Wi-Fi adapter is safely protected. It's not selected. Yeah. So when you do go to use your computer, you know, you turn it on, but only you know that this thing exists. And when you're ready to get on, you know, Facebook or YouTube or whatever, you just hit select a couple times and move it over to, to port three and you've got internet. There's a lot of stuff you probably do on the, on the laptop that doesn't even require the internet. So, I mean, th this really helps to, to drastically reduce the time that you're vulnerable to a uh, cyber attack. Oh yeah, and like I said, you can hide your output or your inputs behind the monitor like I did, or you can just throw the whole thing behind there, you know? See, now it's just a, a cable going behind a monitor and absolutely nobody is gonna realize that there's a switch on that that you gotta hit a couple times. Now I don't want to scare you guys. I, I would be remiss if I didn't explain to you how, how real the situation is. Um, so I, I, I just kind of googled. Um, this is from the Washington Post and, and basically they're saying at this point a cyber attack should be expected and that's according to uh, John Bateman. Um, he used to be a um, defense intelligence analyst um, and, and he now works for the uh, Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. So I mean obviously this guy's got some clout. It's not the first time that Iranian um, cyber terrorists have struck the US um, back in 2011, 2013, somewhere around there. Uh, they, uh, they hacked our bank. There was that casino back in 2014 uh, that they wiped out all the data. And that was in response to um, just some Israeli guy that owned the casino being like, hey, the US should drop a bomb on Iran. Like, we didn't even drop one. And this time we dropped one and killed somebody that's important in Iran. So, I mean, if they wiped out a casino just for an implied threat, they're probably gonna take out like two casinos this time. Well, the, the more I read about this, the more convinced I am that I need to, to take a bigger part in, in making sure that you guys are safe. And I wasn't gonna cover it, because I mean, most people don't have desktops anymore. They, they've got laptops and tablets. But those of you that do have desktop computers at the house, um, you're probably doing something important on it. Um, 
you know, something that you couldn't, a laptop couldn't handle or a tablet couldn't handle. Um, and so if it's important to you, it's important to me. I really am gonna make some videos with some more tips on cybersecurity because I am a computer expert. And I want you guys to be safe. I don't want your computers to start smoking or, you know, turning off and turning back on, somebody stealing your wallpaper. Um, you know, just all those horrible things that the terrorists can do. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna make another video um, focused on, on desktop security. I'll, I'll try and get it done as soon as I can because, you know, the danger is real. But first I gotta make some popcorn and edit the laptop video and get that out there so that the majority of, of the, the people that watch this channel that use laptops can get some protection in. Uh, but I promise I won't forget you guys with the desktops. I've got some great tips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, I have a very unique perspective on security. Um, th these are not your standard security tips. Most people don't know about this kind of stuff. So, um, you know, feel free to tell these tips to to your friends, people that may not have YouTube, may not know about my channel. Uh, it, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, you, you can say that you're the one that uh, figured out how to thwart the, the terrorists. And these are your tips if you want. I'm cool with that. You know, I just want you guys to not become part of a botnet. Cause that's, that's a real danger. And you know, like I would feel bad if I knew this could have happened and I didn't try to warn you guys. And all of a sudden you're sitting there, you're, you're watching your favorite subscription on YouTube and your computer starts smoking. Like, I'm gonna protect you from that if I can. So use the tips and use them well.